in your considered view, is the danger here, if indeed there is anything like that? Yes, we believe that whatever intention a governor takes or, 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 or has mm -hmm. must be proven to be holistic. And, okay. and in the interest of a larger good of the people that he has been elected to govern. In this case, the people of Kano State. In this, state, the, in this case, the people of Kano State. So the point actually is that to show the transparency of these uh, probe actions that he has embarked upon, mm -hmm. number one, the, judicial the probe, constitution right? of the judicial commissions of, themselves okay. is the first point port of call. Okay. In the sense that how do we expect transparency when a major bulk of the movers and influencers that have been you know, appointed into this judicial commission are members of the NNPP? So that will be a case of a cockroach coming before judgment at the table of hands. There is no way a cockroach can find justice when the hen is the head of the commission. So we are questioning the composition, first of all. So to show transparency, there should be neutrality in the composition. That's the first one. And then number two, to all show, uh, show some holistic intentions to do the right thing, we are advising that he extends the probe net mm -hmm. beyond just the previous administration mm -hmm. to other administrations before uh, uh, His Excellency Omar Abdullahi Ganduje. For instance, Kwankweso, his benefactor, Engineer Rabi Kwankweso, was governor of Kadu State from 1999 to 2003. He also came back again after his stint at the national level, you know, to be governor 2011 to 2015. And under the government of Kwankweso, the current governor, Abbas Yusuf, was commissioner for works, housing, and transport. So, as commissioner for works, housing, and transport, he is private to all that happened within this administration. For him to be holistic, for him to be okay. transparent, okay. he should extend the probe. But there is one thing. Uh, and where, 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 where it is important, the... the he the, will not the, dare he, to he, extend he, the probe. You just mentioned that, that he was commissioner will, for works. And will, a road, a major road, is a key part of all of this. That will implicate both him and his benefactor. In the sense that under his watch... Okay. Let me spell out. The three mandate of the, of the Judicial Committee was, number one, misappropriation of public properties, mm -hmm. number two, political violence, and number three, missing persons. Okay, to talk about misappropriation of political uh, 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 government or public properties, under his watch as commissioner for works, housing, and transport, a bulk of houses and public properties were sold or given as gifts to families and friends right under his watch. That is so the chairman, show, uh, chairman Kwakwanso. No, of, I'm talking about the present governor. Okay, okay. He was commissioner for works, housing, and transport under Kwankwaso when these, you know, atrocities were committed. Okay, when Kwankwaso was governor. Yes, when Kwankwaso was governor, he was commissioner under Kwankwaso. So to extend the probe backwards will justify it will present a transparent ground for him to be able to to look forward. So if at all you decide to look back, please look back further enough. So that we can be able to see the, the, the sincerity of your intentions. And then you are talking about road. Under the administration of Kwankweso, five kilometer roads were awarded to the 44 local governments of Kano State. And all of them funds were allocated to it. But the, the, the execution of those, those, those roads is something we never saw. They are still in question till today. So what happened to those ones? In case he is blinded by loyalty and he cannot see the reason or the facts under Kwankwaso administration that were around a, the extension of the probe there, we are willing to help him with facts. That is one of it. And then number two, Kwankwaso's presidential campaign in Lagos. You know, every of the local governments in Kano State 44 specifically were mandated to donate 700 million each. That amounted to billions of naira. These are public resources that a man has used to build a red cap militia, you know, that is bamboozling and bullying everybody into political offices today. All of those matters should be brought to bear. A so searchlight this, should this, be thrown this, on this, them. This release 